Oh my word, I think I may have just found a new heater. What's going on guys, Jeff here, and today we've got a brand new box from Premium Aquatics. Ooh, wowzers. PTC heating system from Innovative Marine. Uh, pretty interesting, aesthetically pleasing. Wow, all right. This is pretty awesome. So right off the bat, we've got a titanium heater tube, uh, which titanium is always awesome, awesome uh, for your reef tank um, or any aquarium really. Less likely to have any issues. Looks like it has a smart controller and also a probe. Not a probe holder. Start with controller. Then we go to the heating element and the probe. Not a probe holder. All right, so let's take a look at the probe first. Not a probe holder. Very interesting. Well, you got some uh, rubberized holders there, so definitely not going anywhere. It's gonna hold it very well. Very strong magnet. I bet that'd work at least up into a half inch thick on glass. And then just a very well-designed probe holder. Not a probe holder. Uh, you got like this silicone, it's almost like a Chinese finger trap, what I'm doing right there. Very, very well done holder. Not a probe holder. Very impressed with that. Innovative Marine, look at you. All right, let's take a look at the uh, titanium probe. Wow, that is way smaller than I thought. Oh my word. Oh, I see what's going on here. All right, so not a probe holder this is actually a heater holder that is awesome the probe is connected to the controller okay i got i'm i'm up to speed now on what's going on here so you got your titanium heater goes in literally not in contact with anything it's not going to be touching either you know the acrylic of your sump or the glass or whatever you got going on in your system you got a pigtail there a couple feet of cord i really like that that is pretty awesome that's amazing that's way better than what i thought that was wow all right so we have our titanium heater it's a little guy even though it's very little it's very strong because right here on the back this little guy right here is a 200 watt heater oh my word oh my word i think i may have just found a new heater for my aquarium 200 watts that's 200 watts it's awesome i'm blown away right now oh my i'm i'm speechless I'm, I am literally speechless right now. So not only do you have an amazing holder for your heater, your heater is tiny. So the footprint of your heater is substantially smaller than what we have seen in the past. And it's about time. I'm smashing stuff here. It is about time. I am very pumped about that. All right. See what the controller holds for us. I legitimately, I have probes that are almost that big, and that is a 200 watt heater. That's why I thought that was a probe holder, not a probe holder. Blown away. I keep going back to that. All right, fancy, fancy. Instructions manual. Always read your manual before operation. Very, very important. Looks like you're uh, right there. Just a quick reference as far as water line. Looks like you can lay it down. So you literally could put that on the bottom of your tank. And as long as you've got you know, four inches of water there, you're going to be pretty good. Uh, you can also have it as high as the silicone here uh, being exposed. Anything below that end of that silicone is not okay. 
which makes sense. You don't want to have the, the actual metal tube exposed to the air because it's probably not going to smell too good uh, if that gets exposed. Uh, so very, very interesting. There we got a magnet. This is the actual probe holder right here. So, not to be confused with the heater holder. Not a probe holder, which we keep going back to. All right, so here's our probe. Nice, titanium, or at least seems to be titanium probe there. Clips in. Very nice. Rugged magnets, pigtail. Then you got some that's so awesome that they actually include this. I'm blown away by this right now. How many companies, you know, just like this is something I actually go out and I buy and usually have it on hand so I can actually take, I just dropped one, so I can actually take my controller and put it in on my, the you know, the back of my, underneath my tank. Um, absolutely blown away blown away all right so you got power cord pretty beefy power cord uh, you have what looks to be the probe sensor plug which that's a three three uh, prong and then you looks like you can have up to two heaters on one controller not a hundred percent certain on that again uh, read your instructions manual I wish I had the ability to put that in, plug it in without uh, actually connecting it to the heater tube because I don't have any water here at all. Let's see what happens when we plug it in. It's throwing in air. All right, so that's probably telling you, let me cut that. It's probably telling you that everything is wrong. Nothing's plugged in, no sensor, no heater. Um, E1 was the air. Uh, and I'm sure we could find that in here as well. Guys, I am very, very blown away. Uh, it shows some of the functionality here uh, in the instructions manual. You, if you want to pause that and take a look at it real quick, see if I can back up. But it tells you the, the preset on the... Uh, Alarms has some alarms, um, quite a few of them actually. High alarm, low alarm, uh, accuracy, pretty on point. One degree Fahrenheit, definitely worth looking at and getting a little bit more information on. But as far as this device goes, I am phenomenally blown away, and I may have just found a new heater. I've been very particular um, the last five, six years on the heater that I use, and I may have just found a replacement. Amazing heater. If you guys want to check it out, there's a link in the description below, which will bring you to Premium Aquatics, where you can do some more research or even pick up one of these bad boys for yourself.